Hi there, my name's Mark, and today I'm going to talk to you about how you can embed a Visio visual into Power BI. So let's pop over and look at our Visio diagram. So this is my Visio diagram, and I have plenty of objects inside in it. I have to set an ID per object. So to do that, I can do a right click, go to data, go to shape data, and over here, you'll see how I set the ID of this particular object. If I go to a different one, I see a different ID different ID over here. So having created your Visio diagram, set all of your IDs, you'll then have to publish it up to SharePoint. Let's go down here, let's go to my SharePoint instance, and here I actually have my Visio diagram already embedded inside in a SharePoint document library. I'm going to copy that URL because I'm going to need it a little bit later on. I now need data, so I need data associated with all of those object IDs. So for purpose of this presentation, I just put my data into an aside an Excel sheet. And in here, you can see for all of the IDs I have in here, I also have a correspondent value and I've also set up a division and I've set up a time period for that same value in there as well. So with that data, I'm going to now going to create a Power BI model. So over in Power BI, I've done a little bit of work to bring in that data from my CRM stages. I've also got some sales data in there as well, some target performance. And if I was to look at this in a simple data table, put up a data table, let's go to my CRM stage and go, these are all my stages of my pipeline and go into CRM and select the CRM performance. I can see in here how I'm building up a basic table of my CRM performance, but I want to convert that now into a Visio visual. Now over here, you can see I've already got the Visio Visual embedded into my uh, Power BI workbook. But the first time you do this, you'll have to import it. So you'll go here, get more visuals, go looking for Visio. And you can see there at the top, the Visio Visual ready for import. I've got it in there already. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my data table and click on my Visio Visual. And this happens. It's looking for that URL that I took a copy of earlier. So let's widen this out a little bit, make it a little bit bigger, paste in my URL and go connect. That connects up into SharePoint. And straight away, you can see that it's brought in my visual and it's also put lots of colors on it. So the key things to call out in here is, are these fields over here? I have an ID field on this visual and I also have a value field. If I expand my field map in, you can see how my ID field is associated with my CRM stage. And down here, I've got I've just I've chosen to show my CRM performance as a set of colors per boxes, and it's put in some default values for me. But actually, let's look at a report that I've created earlier. So here now is my report working with that same visual from Visio, and also some basic sales data that I've got in this workbook. And now when I start clicking on it, you can see how my Visio is updating. So you're really getting the sense of not just how your sales are performing in here, but actually how is the performance of your CRM pipeline and what is the potential impact that could have on your sales. You can see in here for the one I've selected, all seem to be pretty much good in my pipeline. In January again, perfect in here. But as I go into February, we can suddenly see, yeah, I've got a drop in sales, but I've also got correspondent big red issues going on in certain areas of my CRM pipeline. So very insightful data of your process as well as your sales output. Having done all that, you'll probably want to publish it up into Power BI, which of course you can do. So if I go to my Power BI, this is going to be available. But actually in this case, I think I'm going to look at this via Teams. So let's bring up my Teams environment. And here's that exact same visual inside in Teams. And it has the exact same interaction that we've seen before. This brings it very, very close to your business users. And I really like this as an approach because Visio is used for all sorts of things. All sorts of business processes are documented in Visio. If you can create that association between your documented business processes and data for all of those objects in there, you can build up some very, very powerful visualizations and put them into Power BI and get them right in front of your users to really bring all of your, all of your business processes to life. I hope you found that's informative. I have a blog post up about this if you want to read it in a little bit more detail. In the meanwhile, thanks so much for your time and I hope you found this of use. Thank you very much. Take care, goodbye.